Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy rolling out our security updates for Windows 11 version 22H2 and 23H2. And for October, the B-release update is KB5044285 for both versions of Windows 11. Now the update is a mandatory compulsory update. So um, the OS builds for both versions will be bumped up to 22621.4317 for version 22H2. And for 23H2, that build will be bumped up to 22631.4317. Now just on a side note, as I posted on yesterday, something that's quite important is that home and pro editions of Windows 11 version 22H2 are now at the end of service with this update. So after this update, you will no longer receive any updates. So obviously Microsoft wants you to um, update to the latest version of Windows to continue to receive the um, security and quality updates. But I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Go check that out if you are affected, if you would like some more information. Now the update, like all Patch Tuesday updates, addresses security issues for Windows 11. And for Windows 11 22H2 and 23H2, we have 66 security fixes that are rolling out addressing 66 vulnerabilities. And one of those is critical, which is your highest rank vulnerability. So an important update. And the critical vulnerability is remote desktop protocol server remote code execution vulnerability, which means a hacker or an attacker can gain access to your system over a network or over the internet. So 66 vulnerabilities have been patched. One of those is critical and 64 are important that, important that have also been fixed. Now, with that all out of the way, just to focus on what else the update brings to the table. And the update will include improvements. If we just head over to our Windows Update page, that were part of the optional C release update that rolled out towards the end of September. And for Windows 11, that would have been KB5031445, sorry, 5043145, this update, which rolled out the 26th or 27th of September. And I, I did post a whole video on that update, but just a quick recap. Um, there are six new features and bug fixes that this update um, makes available. So if you didn't install this optional update, they will now be rolled out with this latest Patch Tuesday B-release update. So just a quick recap. Um, it enables the sign out option on the account manager when you open the start menu. So there we go. There's the account manager. And we can see now that sign out has been placed in that menu and dialog and it's not hidden behind a three dotted menu which i think is a nice move and that's due to user feedback uh, if we just do a quick search um, for a local file let me just go rp config just as an example uh, you can now share local files directly from the search results that appear in the search box on the taskbar so that's, I would also say, a step in the right direction, just making sharing a lot easier to do. And I'm just going to mention this one, the delivery optimization settings page apparently now matches the Windows 11 design. And I'm also going to mention the next one, it removes the search box from the Windows share window. And if we head over to our lock screen, you will see on the lock screen, if you are playing any media um, that the media controls now show in the lower part of the lock screen. Now I haven't got any media playing because obviously I'm recording but normally your media kind of card or widget was yet to the right and if you are playing media now and you hit over to your lock screen that um, media control will be now placed under your uh, other widgets like your weather widget and so on on the lock screen page so just bringing you up to speed with that and we have actually spoken about that quite frequently on the channel and you can now manage your copilot pro subscription in settings and over and above that it includes eight bug fixes so as mentioned that all rolled out with the optional bug fix c release update towards the end of september now will be moved into this month's update as mentioned 
for Windows 11 22H2 and 23H2, which is KB5044285. Now, although this is a security fix, the update also includes a fix for a known issue, which I actually did post on, and I'll leave that video uh, linked down below and in the end screen, where there were multiple restarts, which was a known issue, and this has been fixed with this update. So just to recap, your device might restart multiple times or stop responding. Blue or green screens also appear, and in some cases, the automatic repair tool opens by itself. In other cases, the issue triggers BitLocker recovery. So this is an important fix. Um, that's a known issue now that according to Microsoft, if you were experiencing that issue, has been patched with this update. So guys, that's more or less, give or take, what's new in this latest um, B-release update for October 2024 for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.